It's not exactly the postcard image we expect from the Harbour City. As summer bushfires rage, smoke has drifted not just to Sydney, but to other parts of eastern Australia, including Brisbane and Canberra. The health effects of prolonged exposure to polluted air can extend beyond irritated eyes. There's a pretty significant strata of people who are going to be flooding hospitals with respiratory and cardiovascular disease. Bushfire smoke contains fine particles sized around two and a half micrometres and below. Being so small, they can easily reach deep into our lungs and cause inflammation. They can even enter our bloodstream, affecting our immune system. That can be particularly risky for pregnant women, infants, older people and those living with respiratory conditions such as asthma. Simple advice is often the best. Keep as far away from the fires and smoke as possible. That means staying indoors whenever possible with windows and doors shut, preferably in a building with filtered air conditioning. Some people have taken to wearing face masks while outside, but they don't always help. The sort of simple surgical masks that you often see people wearing are mainly designed to prevent people from infecting others with illness. They're of no use for guarding against smoke pollution and in fact may worsen the situation. A P2 mask can, however, significantly reduce exposure if fitted properly. They're often used in places where poor air quality is common, such as in parts of China and India. Globally, outdoor air pollution causes an estimated 7 million deaths a year. Many are from lung cancer and heart disease. Australians are now getting a taste of what it's like living without fresh air. With the threat posed by bushfires likely to increase even further as our climate changes, experts warn we should expect more scenes like these if we don't deeply and urgently cut emissions. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.